You can completely change your life in just 90 days. Many others have done it in the past and you can also do it. I can promise you that if you commit to focusing on yourself from now on, you are going to see a massive transformation in your life in under three months. Really don't underestimate how quickly your life can change once you focus on creating your dream life. If you're watching this video, it means you're ready for a change. I'm here today to help you make that change happen in your life. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mari, I'm a doctor turned entrepreneur and in this channel I talk about personal development in a very practical way. I share strategies and resources to help you create a real change in your life. Subscribe to the channel to join this inspiring community of driven people and continue creating a life you love. Today I'm going to share a practical guide on how you can actually change your life in the next 90 days. The first thing that I needed to realize was this quote. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. So the moment I realized that I needed to change my routine, my habits, that was the turning point in my life. It was only when I succeeded at incorporating these habits into my daily routine that I actually saw my life completely change. I don't want this to be another video on how to change your life that you watch and you don't do anything about it. And that's why I put together the Life Mastery Challenge to help you make a real change in your life in the next 90 days. This challenge isn't about creating more demands, pressure or stress in your life. On the contrary, it is about creating the urgency for you to push yourself first, make your goals a priority in your daily life. This is a huge opportunity for you to live your life on your own terms, take control back and make your goals priority number one every single day. So if you want to put yourself first and make your personal and professional goals a real priority in your life, this is the perfect opportunity for you. And this challenge is all about aligning your short-term actions with your long-term aspirations. That way you can establish habits that are supportive of your success. So this is all about setting an intention for the type of person you want to be and the dream life you want to create so you can establish daily habits that will lead you to living that dream life. This challenge was designed to be a turning point in your life. You're gonna look back in three months from now and see that this was the moment where everything started to change. What does it involve? Basically, you're going to commit for the next 90 days, focusing on establishing habits that will help you achieve your goals. For that, we're going to be using a habit tracker. This is a 30-day habit tracker. The idea is that we set our habits for the next 30 days. At the end of the 30 days, we're going to review our progress and make adjustments to ensure that we stay on track to achieve our goals. If you're thinking to yourself, Mary, this looks like the opportunity I was waiting for. I've had enough of procrastinating on changing my life. I need to make myself a priority. Then hit the first link in the description below and I'll send you this habit tracker for free and also an invitation to a life mastery workshop where I'm going to help you create professional and personal success in your life. And I know that this sounds scary because you need to figure out all your habits, write them down and then track them for 30 days. That's a lot. But let me tell you something. Successful people have fear, successful people have doubts and successful people have worries. They just don't let these feelings stop them. So if you're doubting yourself, if you're fearing all this change, that's completely normal. Let yourself feel those feelings and act anyway. If there's only one thing you take from this video, it is to not let your fears stop you from trying this challenge. 
You really need to start now. Not tomorrow, not on Monday, not at the end of the month. The key here is to start simple. Don't try to overwhelm yourself with so many changes that you end up convincing yourself that you need to wait until a different time. And you can start very small. Start where you are making small improvements and over time this is gonna compound to create a completely different life. And that's why I designed this challenge to use a 30-day habit tracker because you can start small and then make more changes as you go along. Great, so now that you have decided that this challenge is for you, that you are committed to making yourself a priority for the next 90 days, how you're going to make this happen. And for that, we're gonna follow four simple steps. Step number one is to review your goals. If you have written your yearly goals somewhere, get that list. Have a look and see if they still make sense. You may need to readjust some goals or even remove some that don't even make sense anymore. If you haven't written down your goals, that's totally okay. Just take five minutes to set your intentions for the next 90 days. What do you want to accomplish by the end of these three months? Identify one to three goals you want to focus on for the next three months. Step number two is to define your habits. And for that, we're going to be using this section of the habit tracker. And I want you to write down your habits in pencil because we are going to be refining these habits at the end of week one when we do our first weekly review. Think about new habits you want to establish in your daily routine and also habits that you want to keep doing or do more of. I also suggest that you check out my 12 habits for life video. There I suggested four different Different habits for the three different areas of your life, your wealth, health and relationships. So I hope those help you figure out which habits you would like to implement. After brainstorming different habits, now it is time for you to refine these habits. First, you need to make sure that they are very specific. That is, you need to define how many times a week you want to do those habits, how much time you want to dedicate to it, or any other ways you can quantify whether you did the habit or you didn't do the habit. Let's take an example of establishing a reading habit. Here, you can set a goal of reading five pages, seven days a week or maybe 10 pages five days a week when you're defining the frequency and the amount of time you want to dedicate to these habits it is really important that you take two things into consideration first is your routine you need to consider your current constraints and the responsibilities once you take them into account then you will know how much time you can actually dedicate to these new habits james clear suggests using implementation implementation intention, which is basically thinking to yourself when exactly and where exactly you will do this habit. The second thing you need to take into account is how difficult would it be for you to stick to this habit. You may have heard of the gold lock zone, which is basically the middle ground between too difficult and too easy. If you make it too hard for yourself, you will probably fail, feel frustrated and decide to give up. On the other hand, if you make it too easy, you won't see much progress, so you may feel unmotivated about doing that habit and end up giving up. So the best way is to find the gold lock zone, somewhere in between too difficult and too easy. A good rule of thumb here when defining your habits is to find something that you know you can easily stick to 80% of the time. Step number three is to set your intentions and for that you're going to be using this section of the tracker where you're going to answer three different questions. Question number one is what goals will these habits help me achieve? When we designed our habits, we were taking some goals into account. Here I want you to review those habits to ensure that they actually help you achieve those goals. If there's anything there that doesn't 
directly or indirectly help you achieve your goals, really consider the need for that habit in the first place. You can write down the goals that these habits help you achieve. Second question is, why is this important to me? Defining your why is so important because when the going gets tough, you're going to give up if you don't know why this is important to you. Question number three is, what are the consequences of not doing it now? If you don't do anything about it now, if you don't take action, that means that your life will continue going in the same direction as it is now. So making a change now means that you're either changing the direction of your life or changing the speed that you are going towards your goals. Now I'll give you an example of how I am personally taking this challenge. So for me, my main focus areas are my wealth and my health. And during this challenge, I'll be focused on growing my business and working out. For the first question, I answered that this challenge is going to help me with the goal of launching my first product for my business and also help me my first half marathon event in one hour and 45 minutes, hopefully. Having clarity on what goals these habits will help me achieve will keep me accountable and motivated. And for the second question, I answered that this is important for me because it's going to help me create freedom in my life through my online business and also help me stay fit and healthy. And for question number three, I said that I would be letting myself down for delaying my success and also I'd lose that self-belief and self-confidence in myself because I didn't follow through with my plans and committed to my goals. So considering the goals that I have for myself, the habits that I brainstormed and also these intentions, then I was able to refine the list of habits that I want to follow for the next 30 days. Step number four is to review your progress. And for that, you're going to be using this section of the tracker. At the end of every week, you're going to review your progress. If you have stuck to your habits 80% of the time, that means it was a huge success and you should celebrate your progress. If you were only able to follow through with your habits under 80% of the time, you need to stop and reflect a little bit. You need to analyze if this habit really is that important to you, because if it is important, you need to find a way to make it easier for you to do the habit. So think about other people and other things that you could do to achieve your goal. As an example here, if one of your goals is to spend less time on your phone, you can use an app to actually block some distracting apps during the day. That way you ensure that you will achieve your goal in an easier way. Another example, if one of your goals is to go to the gym and you've been finding it hard to go to the gym, maybe you can consider hiring a personal trainer or even just finding a training buddy. And when you get to the end of the month, it is a time for you to celebrate your success because not many people can actually do what you have done. Set a goal, define a plan, and actually stick to the plan for one month. And so take some time to reflect on your wins, your lessons, and the next steps you want to take. And at the end of the first 30 days, you're going to get your new tracker and reflect on any adjustments you want to make for the following month. You may decide that you want to do some habits more frequently, other habits less frequently, or even just change habits altogether. I'm going to give you three tips to help you succeed in your habit change. The first one is to not let previous failures stop you from trying again. If you tried changing your habits before but that didn't work, you need to change your plan, not your goal. Think of different things you can try to make this habit easier for you to do. Before building the habit of working out consistently, I was very inconsistent. But I didn't let my failure stop me from trying again. And eventually, I built the habit of working out consistently and really enjoying the process. Just remember, everything is hard before it becomes easy. So embrace your failures and try again. 
Tip number two is to believe in yourself. You need to believe that everything you need to become the you of your dreams, to live the life of your dreams, is already within you. And I know this sounds like a woo-woo thing, but the dream that you have inside of you is there because, yes, you can achieve it. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be thinking about it. Tip number three is to be gentle with yourself. Behavior change is difficult. It's not easy for anyone. So be gentle with yourself and love yourself through this process. Really forgive yourself for your past failures and actually acknowledge that you tried in the first place. You can't hate yourself into a version that you love. Your desire for change needs to come from a place of love and not of hate. Thank you for watching until the end. If you're still watching, it means that you are committed to your change. And the most important thing you can do right now is to sign up for the Life Mastery Challenge so you can get your habit tracker and also an invitation to my free workshop on creating professional and personal success. I promise you that if you focus on yourself, on your goals, at the end of these 90 days, you will have absolutely transformed your life. Remember that you are responsible for creating the life you want and nobody can do this job for you, but I am here to help you in this process. So I hope to see you at the workshop. If you want to get inspiration on positive habits you could build in your life, I suggest that you watch my 12 Habits for Life video next. I hope to see you there. Bye!